Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends. In the previous lecture, we have discussed about the reaction of aniline with bromine. And now in this topic, we are going to talk about the reaction of aniline with the nitric acid. So what is the reaction? Let me talk about that in this topic. So friends, now we are going to talk about the reaction of aniline with nitric acid. This is basically known as nitration process. So for that, we have to consider the aniline. That is what I am mentioning over here. And obviously, nitration takes place in presence of nitric acid as well as H2SO4 at a particular temperature. So in that case, suppose I am using concentrated HNO3 that also in presence of that is concentrated H2SO4 at a temperature of around that is 288 Kelvin. So the nitration process takes place in such a manner that is we could get a mixture of compounds and those mixture of compounds are that is we could get various products out of which one of them would be a para product that is suppose this is the NO2 group that is attached on the para position so therefore the name of this one could be given as that is P nitro aniline or else we could get another product where could we obtain that is the NO2 group that is on the ortho position making this to be called as ortho nitro aniline or else we could get another product where we could find that is the NO2 group is attached to the meta position making it to be called as meta nitro aniline but along with this we could also get the other byproducts and the other byproducts are nothing but tars so here basically we are getting mixture of compounds and for which it is very much difficult to extract all of these products at a time so suppose if we need a mono derivative of this product so obviously we have to protect this nh2 group with some other group so that we could obtain a mono derivative so for that we are using the same process that is what we have did in the previous lecture that is we are going to convert this nh2 group into s tamido group so how the process will go on let me talk about that so now i'm going to talk about the reaction that is what we have did in our previous lecture also that is we have considered aniline that is nh2 and for that we have to convert this nh2 group into acetamido group the reason behind that is it will protect this molecule and that's the reason that it will decrease the activity of this nh2 group and thereby we can obtain only that is a derivative that is a mono derivative out of which the other derivatives that is what we have got like meta ortho so they won't be obtained as a major product so suppose if we want to obtain para derivative or suppose if we have to obtain that is para nitro aniline so for that we have to protect this one so for that i'm using acetic anhydride that is ch3co twice o and that also i'll give a certain temperature and that also in presence of pyridine so now this nh2 group will be converted into that is nh co ch3 group and i'm that of we could get a byproduct that is nothing but ch3 coh so now this is the main product that we need because of this only we can do the further process and we can obtain a para nitro aniline so this is the product that we have got over here and suppose the same product suppose if we are reacting it with let me write this product that is what we have obtained and yes and now suppose if we are doing the nitration process that is in presence of that is concentrated HNO3 along with that of that is concentrated H2SO4 and suppose if we are providing a particular temperature and the particular temperature is nothing but that is the same temperature that is what we have discussed earlier that is 288 Kelvin so in this case only one product that is what we could obtain here basically I would write it here as so this group will be as it is while on the para position we could obtain the NO2 group so this is the product that we have got and this one could be called as para nitro acetanolide so out of which we can easily prepare that is para nitro aniline so now the thing is we have to do a hydrolysis process for this product that is what we have obtained and let's see what is the product that we could get so friends suppose if we have treated that is this is known as para acetanolide group in presence of HCl or in suppose in presence of a strong base so this group will be converted back into 
that is NH2 group and this is how basically we could obtain a single product that is nothing known as para nitro aniline so this is how we can obtain this product so that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this reaction very easily and i hope i will see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe eKera channel thank you so much